Hey friends, it's Megan Elizabeth from By Megan Elizabeth and the She Makes Club and I want to show you how I'm going to make this t-shirt today on my Cricut Joy. I've gotten several questions about can you really make shirts and other HTV iron-on vinyl t-shirts with the Joy and my answer is absolutely yes. I'm going to show you how I took the design that I made. I'm going to slice it so that it all fits onto one sheet of smart material. I don't even need a mat and I'm just going to line it up and iron it on using my Cricut Easy Press. So very simple. Come along and watch. Today I have been really wanting to make this t-shirt for a while and I actually just picked up a makeup bag that I'm going to make in coordination with it. This month's theme inside She Makes Club is called Mine. The whole theme for the year is this is 21 for the year 2021 and we're focusing on different areas of our life and things that matter, things that we love to make and enjoy making, and things that uh, really have to do with the finer details, like the the details of our life and, and telling those stories of what made us who we are and what we look forward to in the future and just what's mine. So anyway, I wanted to do this t-shirt because uh, first of all, I've seen some different takes and inspiration on it on the internet over the years and I've never seen one that I quite like so I decided I wanted to make my own. Uh, this girl runs on coffee and Jesus because without either one of those I'm not sure how I would get through my day. So I have a t-shirt that I picked up. It's a gray t-shirt. I'm going to use the Cricut Joy and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to make it uh, with the Cricut Joy, the smart iron-on material, my easy press, and Cricut Design Space. So let's jump over to Cricut Design Space. And inside Cricut Design Space, I already have a design that I created. So I'm going to upload the SVG uh, right here. I'll just show you real quick. We're going to browse and I'm going to grab and upload it. This a file is available inside She Makes Club for members. So it's already has the background removed. Everything is as it should be. So you can just upload it just as is. You don't have to remove background or do anything like that. This girl runs on Coffee and Jesus, and I'm going to insert it. Now, because I'm doing this on my Joy, I'm going to need to slice it a little bit so that it actually cuts in the Joy. Because if I switch over here to optimize the experience for Cricut Joy, it's going to give me this message saying it's too large. Um, and really, it's designed to fit on the front of the shirt just the way I want it to. I actually want it to be even a little bit larger than that. So we're just going to make it a little bit bigger, but then we need to slice it so that it can cut it in line and make it all work together. So if you're lost, just follow along. I'm gonna grab a square. And with this square, I'm gonna unlock the size proportion and I'm just going to slice it off here. Okay, so I have the square over top, grab those two images and I'm gonna slice. Now what this is going to allow me to do is separate this line from this line. Okay, so my runs on is blurred out. So I'm fixing the SVG and the uploads, same process, but I'm going to add in runs on with a different font here. You can see I just typed in runs on and I'm positioning it over top. I just sliced out this girl and I'll position that back on top. It's not a big deal. I'm just adding the runs on with a different font and then we can move on. All right, so then I'm going to take a shape and I'm just going to grab another square and I'm going to stretch that over the Jesus part. And we're going to select those two and slice that. And then I'll have Jesus as a separate movable piece also, but it keeps it all kind of like lined up how I want it to be. And now I don't have any um, pieces of this that won't fit in my joy in the design that I made it. So if I now go to make it, you're going to see it's going to kind of stretch this out. I'm going to do it without a mat. I'm going to do it on my smart Cricut material. So I just need to make sure I have 16 uh, 0.75 inches in length, which I have more than enough. And then we're just going to cut this out and it'll all kind of be, you know, moved around and in line and in places that it'll actually work. So I don't think it'll work any other way if I want it to morph it or stretch it or shrink it. I can do that if I would need just a little bit more space. Um, I think I might be able to move this up here. So you can see I'm kind of moving this around. And even though the Cricut was smart for me, um, it didn't quite optimize to the best that we could actually optimize it because I can stretch it and move this 
uh, more, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just moving this to make sure that there's no uh, outside the lines kind of situation here, but I can, I can really shrink this into place as long as I keep it in those, in between those lines. So you can see, I really can save a lot more material smushing it and moving it around that way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue. So now it's only 13 and a half inches and I love saving that material. So I'll open this up. And this is, oh, I need to make sure the mirror is turned on. <laughs> Glad. Okay, it's thinking about finding my joy anyway. So while that's doing that, I'm actually going to come here and turn mirror on. Make sure the mirror image is on. Or we need the shiny side to stay intact, so we need to cut it upside down. So it needs to be mirror so that we can place it on our shirt the way we want it to be. All right. So it's still trying to find my joy. Okay. So it connected, it's connected to the joy. So now I'm just going to go to the Smart Iron-On Glitter Material and then load this in. And it's going to double check to make sure I have enough material. And then it'll start cutting when you press go. All right, now that it's complete, I can unload and we'll start weeding. So what I'll do is save as much of this as I can, cutting off at the very end here. Okay, plenty of material left. And then, because this is glitter, it's a lot thicker than other iron-on vinyl materials, uh, but you do want to be careful that you don't get any, uh, you know, rips or tears in your actual design. So you want to work kind of slow and just peel up all of the excess. And now that we have all of our pieces and I kind of have everything lined up on my, um, my Cricut heat pad, I'm going to do these kind of one piece at a time and make them all stick down. So we're going to start with the, this girl. And I'm doing 30 seconds at 330 degrees and peeling it off. I'm just gonna let it sit on there. Okay, now I like to give it a few seconds on the reverse side. So what I'm gonna do is let this kind of cool off a second here. Okay, so that looks really cute. So now I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna give it 15 seconds of heat on this side, 30 seconds-ish, something like that. We'll just give it 15 seconds. It should cover most of the design. All right, and that is it. We have our This Girl Runs on Jesus and Coffee shirt, lined up, ready, made with the Cricut Joy, beautiful, glittery design of HTV, and we're done. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy the moments. I'll see you again soon at Bye Megan Elizabeth and the She Makes Club. Bye-bye.